Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya and good morning to all of you Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the end of the virtual event, International Symposium on Open Distance and E-Learning Isadel 2021, that has been starting from 1st to 3rd December 2021. And now uh, we would like to invite Mr. Irfana Stefiano as a committee board Isadel 2021 to share the summary result of Isadel 2021 event and to Mr. Irfana Stefiano, the stage is yours. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace be with us all. Good afternoon. Best wishes to all of you who is watching this one. This uh, closing ceremony, honorable keynote speakers, plenary speakers, parallel speakers, and respected teachers, college professors, distance education representative from government, official, and the Indonesian Distance Learning Network, private sectors, information and communication technology, content developers and companies, and also the symposium committee. Allow me to share the summary of highlighted key points from this ISODEL 2021. The team already formulated 10 highlighted key points from this event. The first one is, it is undeniable that technological disruptions brings about rapid systemic changes in education that needs to be addressed strategically. It can be faced by enabling innovative solutions to support learning environments that is adaptive and transformative. Next, in the era of the new normal, collaboration is a necessity. Collaboration is more than just a mutually beneficial cooperation, but it is an awareness to share and complement each other for optimum success. Collaborative works needs to be developed not only across geographic area, but also across all professions. In the field of education, collaborative approaches are foundational to effective pedagogy. Learning technology activists and specialists continuously exploring opportunities and approach to design learning architecture that is enlightening and empowering adapting new technology with a need-based innovation to address local challenge and problems. It's not only about limited to technological aspect, but also social, cultural, and humanistic aspect. In developing innovations, we should not forget about the importance of the pedagogy. In the new normal, although ICT is a necessity, it is not absolute goal. Learning technology, te learning technology is about providing solutions to help students learn optimally to in a various conditions with appropriate technology and strategy. On one of the essential issues related to the remote area in Indonesia frontier utmost disadvantage is the difficulty of access Therefore, ICT infrastructure and networks for remote area should be a priority. With the availability of access for digital technology, such as the internet in the remote area, it is hoped to accelerate economics and support the improvement of quality of education parallel to the non-remote area. 
Hybrid learning will become the new normal in education. This will have an impact. This will have an impact in. Sorry. This will have an impact in not only the learning of methodologies but also on the streamlining of the curriculums. Learning resources that are readily available and easily accessible, such as various learning subjects, topics, and diverse learning media, can be used directly. This contributes to more efficient process of learning, subsidizing the need for face-to-face -face interactions. The education work time will be longer than just teaching hours. Learning interactions can run all the time both synchronous and asynchronous for that it is unnecessary to redefine the duties and hours of training teachers in this context teacher will function more as a learning facilitator than just an authoritative figures in vocational educations students learning experience online through various innovative learning models and mixed creative learning media provide experience and student readiness to enter the digital world of work in the future. For this main reason, in vocational education, it is recommended to utilize the development models that foster creativity. Strategies for advancing vocational education during the era of digitalization offer higher level skills, flexible and modularized Integrated technology change our perspective. Agile, responsive, personalized running, reviewing and always updating, revamping or even developing new curriculum to match with the new occupations, to match with the new demands of a working complex environments, including in sustainable jobs, one of the issues causing learning loss is the unpreparedness of the teachers. Schools to organize to be ready to implement the online learning. For this reason, the improvement of teacher competence, especially in the use for ICT in learning, must continuously to be improved, to be exercised. We are very happy to share this recommendation with all of you so you can start to take actions and change to make innovations in education and make it a fun way, a better way for the student and education during this pandemic and beyond. Jakarta, December, 20, December 3rd, 2021, on behalf of the team, Irvana Steviano. Ladies and gentlemen, before we close the event, we'd like to invite Mr. Muhammad Hassan Habibi as a president of Israel to give the closing speech. Please welcome Mr. Hassan Habibi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Peace be with us all Om Swastiastu Namo Buddhaya Salam Kebajikan Rahayu Good afternoon Best wish to all of you Honorable Kenneth speakers Plenary speakers Parallel speakers And respected teachers College professor Distance Education Representative from Government Officials and the Indonesian Distance Learning Network, Private Sectors, Information and Communication Technology Content Developers and Company, and the Symposium Committee. First and foremost, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, praise to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala for His grace so that we are able to complete 
our two days of international symposium on distance open and e-learning 2021 it has been a great pleasure to see the dynamic and exciting discussion in this event which has brought innovative and interesting project of open distance and e-learning from government industry academician and media around the globe ladies and gentlemen isodel 2021 has opened our eyes that it is becoming easier in the era of new normal to make a collaboration to share and complement each other for optimal success collaborative work needs to be developed not only across geographic area but also across profession we need to explore opportunity and approach to design learning architecture that is enlightening and empowering hybrid learning will become the new normal in education this will have an impact not only on the learning methodology but also on the streamlining of the curriculum the educators work time will be longer than just teaching hours learning interaction can run all the time both synchronous and asynchronous character education is another essential issue in digital learning on one hand many parents worry about the lack of face to face interaction with teachers resulting in fewer opportunity for character building on other hand ICT has excellent potential in offering new ways to contribute positively to character education. This event is a special journey which I hope to be giving us a fruitful opportunity for learning, sharing and collaborating in a way that will enrich our knowledge and practice, widen our network and perspective and deepen our expertise and understanding toward what is important about educational technology in the new normal now and beyond within a global context notable guests ladies and gentlemen in this special occasion allow me to express my sincere gratitude to our co-hosts of isodel 2021 which are indonesia open university indonesian cyber education mue kpk unesco and Indonesian Distance Learning Network. Next, I would like to specially extend our appreciation to our partners on symposium. Ministry of Communication and Information Technology, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Internal Affairs, Ministry of Tourism and Creative Economy, Coordinating Ministry of Human Development and Cultural Affairs, UNESCO Jakarta Office, Simeo Secretariat at Bangkok, University Science Malaysia, Ohio University, Simeo Simolek, University of Hong Kong, Virginia University, Indonesian Ambassador to New Zealand, Samoa and Tonga, University of South Australia, Nusantara Institute, Open University UK, Arizona State University, Innovative EFL School Athens, CMU Voktech, and International Telecommunication Union. We also like to give our special thanks to our sponsors, Microsoft, Acer, Fujitsu, Google, Complus, Telkomsel, Smartfriend, Revo, and Epson. My appreciation also goes to all committee from Center of Data and Information or Pusdatin, especially to Mr. Wibowo Mukti and team, Mr. Arif Darmawan and team, virtual exhibition team, and to the event organizer team. Last but not least, I'm also grateful and truly appreciate to all speakers, moderators, and participants all over the globe who have joined ISODEL 2021. I hope that uh, ISODEL 2021 provides you with unique and meaningful experience, as well as valuable networks. Without all of you, this ISODEL 2021 could not happen. Once again, please accept my greatest appreciation to all of you 
for making Isodel 2021 an incredible event. Finally, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin for the success of Isodel 2021. And I hereby declare that International Symposium on Open, Distance and E-Learning 2021 is officially closed. I will see you again in the next Isodel 2023, inshallah. May peace be with us all. Allahul muwafiq ila qamitariq. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you very much Mr. Muhammad Hassan Habibi for the speech. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank you for your continuous presence and active participation. Hopefully this event will be beneficial for everybody. We want to thank the moderators and speakers who has given their time to present and share their knowledge to all of us. And also we want to thank our sponsor that support this event. Thank you for Epson, Complus, Acer, Telcomcel, Google, Fujitsu, Microsoft, Refo, and SmartFriend. And don't forget to upload today's activity on your social media and tag us on our Instagram account at isodel underscore 2021 and Facebook page isodel. Honorable keynote speakers, plenary speakers, parallel speakers, and respected teachers, college professor, educators all around the globe. Even though our event has come at the final stage, however, we would like to inform you that the platform isodelexpo.camdigboot.go.id is remain active and can be explored to give you immersive learning experiences from the recording of all the speakers in this event and many more. Later, we will give you the QR code for you to scan to download the presentation material. Once again, Thank you very much. Good afternoon. See you again in Israel 2023 and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.